Hello and welcome to the Great Eastern Railway. I know it's been a long time since the last video we did, but I just wanted to give you an update. We've had a big week of digging and dumping of uh, aggregate and rolling and getting the track bed correct. So we're pretty much there now and we're pretty much ready to start laying some tracks. So I thought this would be a really good time just to update you. And what I'll do is take you on a guided tour of the railway and show you everything that we've done and what we're planning to do with the track lane. Okay, so from here you can see the track coming through, now up on the embankment here. And what we're going to do is we're going to now build this up with a load of aggregate and get this to be a very firm base up here because the last thing we want is any landslides or anything like that. We've graded out the earth. Uh, we'll then get that fully seeded and so we'll start to have plants etc growing through it and the grass that will make it a lot firmer. And then on the other side we've put a drainage channel in so that we can just basically try and have as much protection from water coming down the hill as possible. Right, so if you remember from the last uh, layout that we had, there were three level crossings. We're still going to have three level crossings. This is going to be the first. Um, obviously because we've come so far down in level, it needed to be as close to level as it could be and the closest point we could really get would be here and uh, there will have to be some drop and coming up there is going to be a load more hardcore going in though so that's going to raise this up a bit so it won't be as much of a of a dip as it currently is but that's fine for getting the tractor through and everything one of the land drains comes right through underneath here out and around behind from where you're looking and through into that side of the field basically to cover the uh, cutting i'll show you that now so what we had to do to be able to get this dry and make sure it stays dry during the winter is basically do an outside loop which is just a deeper version of that much narrower but deeper put the pipe in through it and hopefully that means that any water coming in from the fields above will hit that first and be diverted around the cutting rather than ending up in the cutting. Although the cutting is a nice straight level now and so therefore any water in it, it will also drain out. We've put a drainage pipe into the bottom of the cutting. We would ideally hope that it just doesn't get there in the first place and so we've We've basically double protected it by having this outside land drain. So welcome to the location of the tunnel. Um, at the moment the plan for the tunnel is to have two brick faces either end with a corrugated steel roof to the tunnel that will go across the cutting and with sides to put, hold back any earth and then we'll backfill the earth on top so that that's all covered up. Hopefully it'll make a relatively short, it's only going to be something about three meters, but it will be a nice feature and just something fun for the train to go through. So at the base of the cutting we have got a drainage all the way through the cutting, um, land drainage through here and what you can see on top here is the rubble that's basically been put in to just fill it back up to the level it needs to be. And then on top of that is going to be some nice crushed concrete which will make a really nice firm base. And then the track will go on top of that with ballast. So there is going to be a lot of aggregate which will hopefully provide a really firm base and stop any sinkage or slippage or accidents that could happen. Um, so hopefully, it's been a lot of work, but hopefully it will be a, provide a really good solid base that will last for many years. So 
So the camera angle is now pitched at the end of the tunnel and so you will be able to see what the view will be as we come out of the tunnel. You'll be able to see all the way down to the corner in the far distance. The Where the junction's going in, that will be roughly about the summit of the whole railway. That's going to be the peak. So it's, it's climbing slowly but steadily the whole way through this cutting to reach the top there. Now the railway was originally at ground level when it was at that junction so you can see just how much that has come down and that's going to take so much of the hill out that was going down to the play area. I'll show you that now. So this part of the loop is still quite low. It needs to come up a fair bit more. Um, at the moment, we just ran out of uh, hardcore to, to bring it up any further, but that needs to come up about another 20 centimeters to get a nice constant gradient the whole way round. The far corner is the bottom of the gradient, and then it should be working its way through and coming up to where you're standing now, which is the summit. We have the bridge and this is going to go over this culvert which is a drainage channel so we put drainage in to solve this and as I say that's resulted in these culverts and all the land drains drain into here so hopefully once we actually get some rain in this country this will actually start to fill up and we'll actually start to have um, what should look like hopefully quite a nice little brook through here the bridge will then come over the top and as you can see, it's going to be quite a good size. Um, we will use girders to take the bridge across and then have two concrete plinths either side and they will support the bridge over the top. Uh, we will then, obviously with the aggregate, fill in up to the concrete plinths on either side uh, with, the rail with the railway going over the top. Hopefully it should look quite a little pretty bridge and when you're going over it you'll be able to see down onto the onto the, the culvert with the water beneath. So once the once everything grows up around it and once it's finished, I'm hoping it's gonna be a really nice feature. Here we are, we can see the exits to the various land drains that we've had to put in. Um they will amalgamate under here and come out. This will obviously all be tidied up, but for the moment, until we know that everything's working, we're just going to leave it a little loose. But um, yes, hopefully we'll cover this all up and it'll just look like a natural spring. So having planted a lot of trees and hedges around the garden, last winter we're going to do a load more this winter we're going to plant out around the embankment just to really add a bit of protection to the embankment from um, children playing around in here you don't want everybody sort of getting too close to the to, to that cutting and falling down or anything like that so we're going to put protection all the way around we're going to do it on the other side as well and just generally try and plant up this area to create a little bit of a a little micro forest there and uh, yeah just try and make it look as as nice and as pretty as fitting in with the the uh, surrounding as possible
everything's obviously very brown at the moment but hopefully that will green up when the rains start to come and uh, things will start to look a bit more lush and and beautiful uh, as they have in the past so this is the pipe that we've been using to put in all around and create drainage throughout the uh, throughout the paddocks uh, it's perforated land drain and uh, hopefully it will do the job of keeping everything nice and stable and dry during the winter so that's me done for today plan going forward is that we are going to take one section of the railway at a time uh, the first one is going to have to be the bridge because we can't really lay the track without the bridge so the bridge is going to be the first thing we're going to do and then we will start laying the track and uh, once we've laid the track we will then go on to the tunnel once that's done obviously signaling and various other things will come after that but that's a long way in the future um, but yeah we're, 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 we're getting there um, cash flow is obviously going to be a bit of a problem for a, a while so we're just going to take it one step at a time and i'll just do an update after after each stage has been completed but thanks for joining us and i hope you enjoyed seeing what we've been up to